most important thing in the world is the family and love. With this most inspirational thought, my dear friends and students, this is Ms. Anupama welcoming you all on Ms. Anupama's channel. My dear friends and students, after a Diwali vacation, holidays, I am back with one more video. And I'm sorry, okay, I was uh, having lots of stuff at home, okay, workload was so much, so I, I have to, okay, I had to take break from this videos, okay. So now I'm back and uh, today in the session we are going to uh, write down, uh, we are going to know about the exercise of EBS 2 and uh, lesson number 2 that is work of saints. So. My dear friends and students, belated happy Diwali to each one of you, okay? This Diwali brings lots and lots of happiness, brightness and prosperity in each one of your life, okay? Chalo, shall we begin our session? Yes. So my dear friends and students, you can see this is hmm, subject EVS 2 history, which is on page number 7. Uh, lesson number two, the name of the lesson is work of the saints and here we are going to have, we are going to learn about only the exercise, okay, exercise of this lesson and in that first question is fill in the blanks, okay, now they are all together for fill in the blanks. Now the first one is Santa Namdev was a great devotee of Vithal, okay. Santa Namdev was a great devotee of Vithal. The second blank says that, fill in the blank says that, Santa Naneshwa took Samadhi, took Samadhi at a very early age in Alandi near Pune, not in Dehu, okay. Uh, in Alandi near Pune, Alandi, A-L-A-N-D-I, just remember this, okay, don't do any mistakes over there. So, Alandi near Pune. And the third one, Santa Tukaram drowned in the river Indrayani, all the records of loan papers he had, okay, in the river Indrayani, okay. Now shall we start with the fourth fill in the blanks and students have a look on the board. Now the fourth fill in the blanks and the last one. The fourth one is that to popularize the worship of strength. Samartha Ramdas raised the temples of Hanuman, Lord Hanuman. Okay, so once again to popularize the worship of strength, Samartha Ramdas raised the temples of Hanuman. Okay, understood now? Yes, please. Note down all this, fill in the blanks. Now we'll start with the second question. And the second question says that write the answer in one sentence. Okay, write the answer in one sentence. And in this question, there are all together four questions, my dear friends and students. Okay, we'll have that now. And the question number A. What discrimination did Sri Chakradhar Swami not believe? Okay, not believe. So the answer is, Chakradhar Swami did not believe in any discrimination based on gender or, or caste. Okay. So Chakradhar Swami did not believe in any discrimination based on gender or caste. Okay. Understood now here? Chalo, we'll start with the second question, my dear friends. Okay, my students. dear friends and students, have a look. And the second question is, what desire did Sant Namdev instill among the people? And the answer is, Sant Namdev instilled the desire to protect their religion among the people. To protect okay to protect their religion okay religion among the people their own religion okay now the question number three what advice was rendered by Sant Eknath okay what advice was rendered by Sant Eknath answer Sant Eknath rendered advice to the people not to accept okay this is not to accept okay a c c e p t accept any distinction of high 
and low okay these are the very important words of this answer okay sant eknath rendered advice to the people not to accept any distinction of high and low okay got it now the last and fourth question of the okay. sections now the last question what message was propagated by samarth ramdas okay the answer is samarth ramdas propagated that the power resides in a united people okay the power resides in united people got it so samarth ramdas propagated that the power resides in a united people now with this the second question all four answers are finished now we'll begin with the third and the last question in this they are all together two questions my dear friends and students now the first question uh, no the third question is what give answers in three or four sentences okay three or four sentences in three or four sentences you have to write down this answers two answers are there two questions are there okay now the first one why did sant nyaneshwar locked himself in his hut the question is why did sant nyaneshwar locked himself in his hut now we'll start with the answer okay, okay. friends now see here the answer says that now here four points are there okay it's a big answer okay lengthy answer with all four points you have to learn and write down now the first point says that sant nyaneshwar's father had taken sanyas and thereafter returned home and started living with his wife okay the first point says that sant nyaneshwar's father had taken sanyas and thereafter returned home and started living with his wife understood clear the first point yes now we'll see the second one the narrow minded people persecuted their children okay the narrow minded people persecuted their children third one when nanishwar went round the town he had to listen to abusive language instead of receiving arms okay when nanishwar went round the town he had to listen abusive language he has to listen to abusive language instead of receiving arms okay now the fourth and the last point of this answer is eng nanishwar was deeply pained and locked himself in his hut to grieve over his lot okay so this was the reason why sant nyaneshwar okay he locked himself in his own hut to grieve over his lot okay now we'll begin with the second question of this exercise and this will be the last one okay my dear friends and students my dear friends and students have a look on the board now this is the last question of this exercise okay and the question is what message did sant tukaram give okay and the answer this answer also i had written in point wise just you can see here and the first point of this answer says that sant tukaram preached the virtues of pity okay virtues of pity forgiveness and peace of mind to the people now remember this words very important words in this answer and in this point okay sant tukaram preached the virtues of pity forgiveness and peace of mind to the people the second point he also gave the message of equality to them okay the message of equality okay to them and the third one he impressed upon the people that he alone is a saint and god dwells with them who calls the weak 
and the downtrodden and the downtrodden as his own okay understood my dear friends and students with this this uh, last question i finished the exercise of the lesson number 2 that is the work of saints okay thank you for watching all my videos and giving good and good and very what do you call delighted comments then um, please do like share and subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you'll get the notification of my upcoming videos and please write down all this exercise in your notebook and keep ready your stuff and uh, please do learn this and uh, thank you for now see you in the next video